Hello and thank you for visiting Coin Lady Channel, where we present breaking stories about XRP. The legal fight over the SEC ripple is over. According to a recent article on Yahoo! Finance, the SEC has confirmed the case has been closed. This is helpful for the defense of Ripple and two of its executives in the case. After that, as we all know, this was swiftly taken down. Since this has been confirmed in a number of places, including by the head of Ripple and various news outlets, I have a lot more to discuss with you today. The XRP price will almost definitely begin to reflect this insane announcement within the next 24 to 48 hours. In light of the recent developments, and not on the basis of any legal or financial guidance, please feel free to share this video with anyone and everyone you know. This time, however, a strange piece of knowledge has just emerged. Without further ado, then, let's begin. As the Ripple team has now stated publicly, XRP will soon be available worldwide, and its price will rise accordingly. I don't think I've ever heard anything stranger than this. On February 25, 2023, to be exact, we shared this. On the same day and again on May 25th, 2023, the SEC will enforce a prohibition on the distribution of unauthorized file articles. Exactly four hours ago, it was made available to the public. As a quick aside, we'll say that the tweet that was actually used as a reference came from the Ripple account on Twitter and that there appears to be some kind of similarity between that tweet and the one made by Ripple due to the similar timing. Then there was the news that the SEC had dropped their case against Ripple, which was also reported. The legal dispute with the new SEC has been ongoing for a while, but Brent Hill recently tweeted that it would shortly be resolved. In the beginning, XRP will be managed. After that, it will be relisted on all regulated markets. Last but not least, XRP will become openly traded and attract the investment of major financial institutions and corporations. Even though everyone is talking about Ripple vs. SEC, this event serves as further proof and confirmation that the lawsuit is finally coming to a close. The funny aspect is that this has been going on for up to three days straight. Thus, we need one more. This does indicate that something is taking place at the present time. We are aware that there is a settlement in progress, but we do not know when the SEC will officially withdraw the case. Let's examine what's occurring now and what's likely to be disclosed in the coming days before I get into what the SEC chairman said about Ripple, XRP within this crazy short or three-day time frame. This will add to the mounting proof that a settlement has been reached or is imminent. And at this point all we can do is wait for it to come out. I'd like to share with you all this video from the World Economic Forum about XRP and its possibilities. The future applications of XRP and the RippleNet infrastructure are also discussed. They also reaffirm the prior indication that attacks could cost $10,000 or more in XRP. Indeed, his tweets prove the future Bitcoin balancing theory of 10,000 Bitcoin plus what's gone. Alright, start the video. In my opinion, many of these crypto assets come from locations that are too brightly lit for the people offering them. Can you offer me an illustration? Obviously, we are all familiar with the types of places to which I refer. Accordingly, a worldwide regulatory structure is required. In this case, a purely national strategy would be counterproductive. There's a worldwide aspect to this, in my opinion. So, we have been actively working on updating our rules on global stablecoin arrangements and introducing a new set of guidelines for what we call un back crypto assets or other crypto assets, and I'll stop talking about that now. They have been made public and are currently being reviewed. As a result, we eagerly await some kind of answer. It's the opening inning of panel, and by the end of the spring we should have two complete collections of suggestions. In a recent interview with the New York Times, SEC Chief Gary Gensler said that all cryptocurrencies except the top 10 are securities. Looking at the top 10 cryptocurrencies in terms of market capitalization in the United States, Bitcoin ranks first with $458 billion. Second place goes to Ethereum, which has a market value of B and B or 48 billion Binance coins, or 193 million third of a trillion dollars. XRP's $19.8 billion market value places it in fourth place. Therefore, we can already see it by his assertion that everything else is security and that, among the top 10, cryptocurrencies will likely be found. 
To put it simply, it implies that XRP is a means of exchange. Due to the plaintiff's original squeamishness about XRP security, it's still too early to say whether or not the lawsuit will be resolved soon. However, now that he has reversed his stance, we have access to the latest updates. For instance, we can see that a Yahoo Finance story saying that the SEC whistleblower case is over has since been deleted, and that the SECK chairman and the Ripple team have been discussing this and other news extensively. All it signifies is that the publication was put on hold until a later, more convenient time. That makes logic, given that the SEC and Ripple are currently meeting here to negotiate a settlement. Again, if you'd like me to make a film in which I talk about those gatherings, let me know and I will. It's unbelievable, but... This could be the beginning of a new price movement for XRP, one that sees the coin hit new highs, pass new footballs, and ultimately reach the $7 to $13 area in the coming days, weeks, or months. Yes, do share your thoughts with me in the section below. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.